system users. Now, system users are people that you want to access the back office of Limo Anywhere software here. To get to system users, go under My Office, System Users. To add a user, you will see Add User here. So you will just put in their first name, last name, email address, give them a username that they will use to log into the system, and once you hit continue, an email will be sent to the email address you provided for them to create a password and PIN. Once you've added a user, they will be stored under users here for you to edit. Once you've added a user or you're editing a user, you will see more information options that you can set up for that user. You will see the support call in pin here. It is very important that you know what the call in pin is or at least know where to find it. Because at any time you need to reset your password, you do need the call in pin here. Now once a user has been added, they cannot be deleted. So if you don't want them having access to your system any longer, you can go here to the activation drop down and make them inactive and that will deny them access to your system. You also have lockout. If you put in the password wrong too many times, it might lock you out. So you would have to have somebody go in here and unlock that user. You can also restrict access several different ways. You can restrict access by IP address. So you can allow it or block it if you know the IP address. You can restrict access by module. So if you didn't want them having access to certain sections of the back office, you can restrict access that way. So for instance, if you didn't want them getting into my office, you can check mark that and they will no longer have access to my office. You can also click on the arrow to the left of the checkbox to bring up the subcategories. So if you still wanted them getting into my office, just not system users, you can go in there and check mark that. They'll still have access to the other sections of my office, just not system users. And you can do that for any section of the back office here the same way. You can also restrict access by schedule. You can put in a start and end date, and they'll only be able to access in between those dates. You can also set up a work schedule, so you can check mark which days put in a start and end time and they'll only be able to access in between those times on the days you've selected. You can also put in some user notes if you'd like. But anytime you make any changes to a system user that you're editing, make sure you go down here and click update user to save those settings. Now to reset your password if you've forgotten it or you need to change the password make sure you know the support call in pin you will go to the login page put in your company ID username leave the password blank and click login it will give you this error down here that says either the company ID username or password you entered is invalid you can reset your password by following this link. You can click on that link and it will ask you to put in the company ID, username, and that support call in pin. Once you put that in and click submit, it's going to send an email to your system user email address containing a link to reset your password. That pretty much covers system users. Thank you very much.